Hello, this is We See Jesus Daily for Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. We're going to keep reading in Philippians 3, starting in verse 12. It says, Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So remember Paul had just been talking about how he considers everything a loss compared to knowing Jesus. And now he's telling us, not that I've already obtained all this. Like I don't know him perfectly. I don't know him completely. I want to, I'm straining toward it, but I haven't arrived at my goal yet. So just like you and I, Paul's confessing he's not perfect. He knows that he's continually working on his relationship with Jesus, just like all of us should be. So verse 12, he says he hasn't obtained this to knowing Jesus fully as he desires, but he presses on. So this is a forceful advancing. This is an intentional work. He's pressing on toward the goal to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me, he says. So what did Christ Jesus take hold of us for? Christ Jesus took hold of us to be one with us. He took hold of us to bring his kingdom to earth through us. He took hold of us to be image bearers of Jesus Christ. Um, he took hold of us to put his spirit inside of us and live through us by the power of his Holy Spirit. So Jesus Christ took hold of us for a reason. He has called us with a calling and a purpose and each one of us have specific work that we are to do through the power of his Holy Spirit in us as we yield our lives to him and let his spirit work through us. And everyone has a different calling and a different work in which the spirit's gonna do through them. So verse 13, he says, one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. So forgetting what is behind. I think this is sometimes an area that we can get caught up in or that the enemy gets us trapped in because we can sometimes get trapped in our past and think, well, I don't, I'm just a new Christian, so I don't, I can't really lead others to Christ or I had this, that, or the other in my life before, so I'm not worthy of leading someone to Jesus or telling people about Jesus or really walking in the calling. No, the Bible says live lives worthy of the calling that we have received based nothing on our past. It has nothing to do with who we were before Jesus. The old is gone. The new has come. We are a new creation in Christ. When we receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, we are a new creation. So now Jesus tells us who we are in him. We're defined by what his word says about us. We're his children. We're heirs of all that is his. That is who we are in Christ. So we have to stop letting the lies of the enemy tangle us up. We want to forget what is behind and straining, it says. That word straining, this is a very intentional word. It's it's a forcefully advancing, like I mentioned earlier. It's You can't sit idle and strain at the same time. So this is a very active word. This is something that we do intentionally. We choose to strain towards what is ahead. We choose to press on. It's a choice. We can sit idle and, and do nothing and not take up our cross and not follow Jesus and not walk in the calling of which he created us for, or we can strain towards what's ahead. And again, I love this language because Paul's reminding us and showing us this isn't easy. The work of Jesus Christ isn't ever told to us that it would be easy. Jesus himself said, in this world, you will have trouble, but we could be encouraged. We could be, take heart because Jesus overcame the world. So we walk in his overcoming power, and therefore we are overcomers. Verse 14, he says, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So Jesus is our goal. He is our prize. He is what we are living this life for. He is what we are giving up our lives for is for Jesus. He's the goal. He's the prize. He's our treasure. He is our reward. Um, and we get to co-labor with him. And that's part of the reward on earth. You know, Jesus came to give us life abundantly for all of eternity, but also for right now on earth. He wants us to have abundant lives right now 
on earth, but we can only do that by partnering with the power of the Holy Spirit, by co-laboring with Jesus to bring his kingdom to earth. If we continue to live for ourselves or continue to live stuck in our past, we will not live abundant lives in Christ. We have to yield to him. We have to put our lives up under him in order to co-labor with him, in order to bring his kingdom to earth, and in order to fulfill the calling for which he created us. So we live for Jesus right now, but we get to live with him for all of eternity. So there's a reward in both. Right now, we get the reward of living for Jesus. We get the pleasure of walking with him and learning about him and doing life with him on earth. And we get to look forward to eternity where we will have our eternal reward of just being with Jesus face to face for all of eternity. So there is no greater reward. Galatians 6, 9 says, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So we wanna set our gaze on Jesus. We wanna fix our eyes on him. We wanna willingly give up our lives. It's our joy and it's our pleasure. He gave up his life for us. So we get to give up our lives. We get to press on towards which he's called us. So let's pray. Jesus, we just thank you for the, the calling that we get to represent you. We are your representatives. We get to represent you to a, a lost and a dark world, Jesus, where your light shines in us. It is not our light. It's your light in us. And so we just offer our bodies over to you and just say, Lord, let your light shine through us. We ask that we would willingly, cheerfully, joyfully press on, strain towards what is ahead, the prize of knowing you more intimately, knowing you more personally, and getting to live for all of eternity with you. We thank you, Lord, for the goodness and glory of your power and your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, read Philippians 3. Again, we can't, the more we read it, the more it's going to soak into us and the more we're going to live it out. So enjoy reading your word today. Enjoy just sitting with Jesus and journaling and writing out your prayers to him and declare the word of God over your life and over your situations today.